Good morning and welcome to the next part in my journey through Ali Bata's history on YouTube, going through all the songs I haven't heard yet. And today I'm on to this next one. It's called Tana. Let's see. Tana Erku Ibu Sud. All right. And of, of course, please feel free to correct me if I get the pronunciation wrong so I know how to actually say it. But let's check it out. Wow, this song has such a great bouncy rhythm to it. Like he's literally playing almost a kick drum sound on that bottom string. And there was a really cool chord um, resolution right there. I want to hear that again. Oh yeah, just a major to minor shift there. But dang, he makes it sound so good. Just the way he plays it, the way he expresses each note. Again, you had that one note that he started and did a pull off and then hammered it back on to just get that little bit of sass in there. Right there. Oh. Even he's headbanging and grooving. Whoa, whoa, I think... My graphics card just freaked out there for a second. All right, let's try that again. Ooh. That chord change right there is so nice coming from... Oh man, that <sighs> he just always adds some kind of cool ending to his songs. Some kind of surprise shredding that just caps it off in such a cool way. Oh, okay, so this was four years ago. He looks so young. It's awesome. Um, but like this shows this was a really cool song, a really cool vibe and rhythm, but it also, like, it's relatively simple compared to what he does now. And again, like I said last in the last video, it really shows how far he's come now as a musician. Like, this is a great cover. He's showing some really unique chops and just overall proficiency greatness on the guitar, but... When you compare it to what he's doing now, it's like, yeah, it's a fun song. It's like average Alipata, you know? Um, but 
now that we've seen where he's gone with his talent, it's just like it's cool to see this historical where he started video. Anyway, cool. I'm excited to check out more. So thank you so much for watching this with me. Uh, pound the like button if you enjoyed this and subscribe if you'd like to join me on my journey through Olive's history. And I'll talk to you next time.